really does mean a lot to me, and uh, especially because I, I'm going to be honoring my own piano teacher tonight, who I um, had the most wonderful um, good fortune to speak with her recently, and it's been over 30 years since I last spoke with her. Um, it actually started with, uh, as a result of a uh, young woman who will be hearing later on tonight. Um, she uh, pretty much started this whole thing, and um, it, it has been uh, very touching for me to um, speak of her. And uh, she has had an incredible effect on my life, and I didn't realize how important um, she really was until I really I hung up the phone and I. I wish I had made that call sooner. Um, it took a little while to find her. She, ironically, lives in Stony Brook. I used to travel from Mount Sinai for uh, 11 years to go see her. Every, actually, twice a week. I couldn't believe my all that way every week, week. And thanks, Mom, <laughs> on the video. And um, I, I told her that I now live in Stony Brook myself, and she just couldn't believe it. She couldn't believe that all what I've done since then. It was amazing to, to share a lot of my, my life since then with her, and uh, she obviously can't believe what I have done with my own students and have been teaching as long as I have. And uh, I have to say, my, a lot of my students will know that I talk, um, I have memories of her being very strict and a little harsh at times, and I used to cry a lot of my life with me when I was a little kid. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, I, I, as an adult, and talking with her now, and hearing her familiar voice, I, the effect she had on my life has really been amazing. And it made me realize that I have a very unique job. Um, you know, every teacher knows that it's a very rewarding experience. But to be able to stay with the same kids year after year, and watch them grow up and become part of Everyone's, you know, I've made so many friends, and um, it's been a wonderful experience watching each and every one of you grow. And I appreciate you sticking with me, and um, I'm happy to pass along what my teacher taught me. And uh, it's been very, very rewarding, and I'm honoring her. Her name is Mrs. Barbara Young. She now lives in Mich Michigan. She's 80 years old, and she, I'm sad to say. Um, that she has become blind, but she still is the same strong woman I remember. She still rides horses. She um, is learning the cello a new way, and uh, she is an amazing woman. And she will be hearing all of this, and the product of what she has given me. So um, I'm. That's why this was especially important for me this evening, and. Uh, I think of it as my, my full circle story, so uh, I'm happy to pass this along and share this with everyone, and more importantly, to be here tonight. So thank you so much, everybody, for sticking with me and hanging in there with me. And um, I see that everybody's here, so um, I am so proud to present uh, a young boy who is very, very special to me and has grown incredibly in, in this past school year, um, one of the most polite boys I've ever known, and um, always gets the chair for me. And um, he is playing um, a piece that you all see the obvious improvement that he has made. And by the way, I mentioned he scored very, very highly in this with this year. It's our best miss with this year. And uh, I present Tommy Hendrickson, who will be playing a walk in a rainbow. <laughs> 